Hey, it's Kent White. Let's go have some fun doing some more metal work. Um, topic today is flow forming. So, if you're going to be making a part that looks like this, say a little dome shape, and you've got enough to where you can trim around it to leave your part, this is in other words a blank, and we can trim off the excess. But for those of us in aircraft work, if we want to make a bump cowl, we've got a whole bunch of bumps we want to make, and we want to make them repeatably sized, but we don't want to make dies, you know, like uh, male and female and a big press and all that elaborate stuff, there's a simple way that you can gear up. And you don't have to do a whole bunch of whacking by hand with assorted and sundry mallets, which are fine for themselves, but when you're making a whole bunch of different parts, maybe there's a smarter way to do it. Okay, this is a form block, and it all, all it is comprised of is a block of alder that's got the shape cut into it with a die grinder. And then I've got a, a hold down or a frame up on top of it that's bolted down, and the whole, the whole mass is clamped to the bench with two C-clamps. Now, of course, I was saying that you can take one of these and go bammy, 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 and gee, that's a lot of fun, but how about something faster? So what I'm going to introduce you to is flow forming. This is a rivet gun, not some offshore trash uh, uh import deal for 1995, you know, down at the harbor. Uh, but let's say you wanted to get a really nice gun that you can hang on to and have some control over, kind of like this. Now the neat thing is we make this tooling and we also make all these inserts for it. And we get serious about the tooling that we offer for our flow forming system because we've got this crap load of stuff right here. Well, let's take this thing apart and see how the dome looks. Okay. So you end up with a pretty nice dome, huh? No hammer marks, looks nice. Well, the secret here is the fact that the tooling that I've designed for this stuff is designed not to leave marks, but it's able to move the, move the metal so you can make your part effectively. Now, the trick here is to be able to make tooling rapidly and cheaply. Let me show you something. This is a wing tip for an airplane, made out of 5052 032 aluminum, half hard. Now, it's ready to be welded up, but actually these halves were made in a flow forming die. Let me show you about flow forming die. Cheap, easy, effective. Well, here's a flow forming die. This is one for the wingtip. Doesn't look like much, but you know, you clamp this thing down with a series of vice grips around the outside and then flow it in there with the tools that I've just showed you. There's a secret to all this stuff. Maybe someday I'll tell you. I make a lot of parts by flow forming. Here's a little copper bowl. Not a big deal. You can free form it over a sandbag. You got the right tools and get a good rivet guy. Well, it's Kent White. Hope you're having fun.